Hello, this is Esther at Online Media Works, and I'm here today to explain to you how you can set up MailChimp tools for GDPR opt-in um, in five easy steps. Well, I'm hoping so anyway. So the first thing you need to do is to log into your MailChimp account. And once you've done that, go to the list that you're looking to get GDPR opt-in for. So if you've got several lists, then obviously you're going to need to get GDPR opt-in for each of those lists. So we go to the lists page, we find the list, we click on list. Then in that list, we go to settings, list name and defaults. And in there, you'll see you can click double opt-in, recapture, and GDPR fields. So if you're not sure what all those are, you might want to check, but you definitely want to have, I would suggest double opt-in and the GDPR fields enabled. So once you've done that, you go down to the bottom and you click save list and default um, campaigns. Okay, so when we now go back to our lists, I think this is on the second page let's just go down okay so now when we go back to our list we can see that a new box um, has been um, included next to the name of the list which says gdpr so you now know um, that the gdpr has been enabled for that list so the next thing that we do is we go into the list again um, and we go to sign up forms into form builder. Now the sign up form that you had before will now have at the bottom um, the GDPR marketing um, permissions included. So this by default says that the company will want to um, email, direct mail and online advertising. So if you don't, for example, if you don't do online advertising, you can go back into here. So let's just, if we, we have to click on the yellow bit. And we, then, when, then at the top here where it says field type, it says GDPR and you can change any of the text in any of these boxes. So for example, if you don't have online advertising, you can delete that one out. But if you did have another option, then you can obviously add that in. And if this legal text doesn't match with what your organization has as a legal text, then obviously you can, you can change that there. And then at the bottom, you'd go to um, save fields. So when you've done that, what we now need to do is segment that list so that then we, when we ask people to sign up, we'll have those that have opted in and those that haven't. So if we go back into our list for the third time um, and we go back to our lists page and into the list this time we're going to create a segment so in the drop down box we're going to marketing permissions and we have one for is email and when we go to preview segment, there'll be nothing there because nobody signed up yet. But we'll save that as segment and we'll call that opt-in email for GDPR or whatever you want to call it. You want to make sure that this auto update is ticked because that means that um, the list will get automatically updated when people are opting in to your, your, your list. And then if we create another segment, go back into marketing permissions, and this time we're going to save one that's direct mail. We preview the segment. There's nothing there, but we're going to save it as 
direct mail GDPR opt-in. Whoops. Auto updates on and we're going to save that. Okay, so now we've got our our segments saved. What we're going to do now is the last step, which is to create an email to send to these people to ask them if they'd like to opt in. So if we go to campaigns and we go to create campaign, we go to create an email, we're going to call it whatever you want, GDPR opt in. And then you can obviously go down and change all, all of the um, the uh, settings there. If you go to design email and themes, in the drop down box you want to go to subscriber alerts. And it's the second one you want, which is GDPR subscriber alert. So this has been pre pre written um, by the Mailchimp people, but obviously if the um, text doesn't match with what your organisation would like to say, you can you can change it. Um, if you click onto the Visit GDPR homepage link, it does take you to this eugdpr.org page, um, which you may or may not want to send your um, opt-in people to. So you might want to check that out and you, you might want to um, change that. Um, and then you would preview and test it um, as you would um, normally. So there you go, five easy steps to getting your GDPR opt-ins using the new MailChimp tools. I hope that really helps. Um, if you'd like to contact me with any kind of questions, I'm happy to help. It's esther at onlinemediaworks.co.uk. Many thanks.